Jonathan has been our Chancellor here for over 10 years and I estimated has conferred awards on well over 6,000 graduates at Kiel during that time. As we all know, Jonathan has a passion, knowledge and a conviction in relation to the enormous challenge that the world now faces through climate change. And because of him, our students, our graduates and the university has a much more mature and impactful approach to the sustainability challenge than we could have ever had without him. We are enormously grateful for his challenge and the support he has given us and we hope that Kiel will always maintain a connection with Jonathan well into the future. Yeah, 10 years seems um, impossible, to be honest. So I feel sad because I've really enjoyed being here at Kiel for 10 years. You can't do anything other than give young people as they graduate from a university, to give them all the skills and the interests and the material they need to cope with this troubled world. You have to be able to provide them with those with those strengths. And I think universities are beginning to understand that takes a little bit more than just, you know, having the students who specialize in this stuff. You've got to ensure that every student, whatever their discipline or faculty, is given a chance to understand the full extent of the climate emergency and work out what they can do about it, what their contribution is, how to be active in addressing it politically and all the rest of it. So, it's a very, very important role that universities have in that regard. Um, I won't be doing another chancellor role anywhere in the world. I've done my bit as chancellor and loved it. But I will continue to work with young people. I already spend quite a bit of time working with young people's organizations. And I feel there's a kind of opportunity now. I'm 71 and there's a sense that, that people like me, so more than 60 as it were, and young people actually have opportunities to work together really effectively. I know in the, you know, in, that, in the middle of a person's life, professional life, they're often trapped. They're trapped by their jobs, by their mortgages, by their problems, whatever it might be. And maybe they won't ever be as active as we need them to be, frankly. But older people, particularly grandparents who've thought about the implications of this for their grandchildren and young people, my hope is that we can become more effective in shared campaigning and collaboration. And that's one of the things that I'll do. So I'll be outside of formal education and much more stuck into uh, non-establishment type education, working with young people.